Um, Hey gamers, welcome back to Fits the Game. For today's D and DIY, we're gonna be making a custom DM screen out of these three dollar artist panels from the dollar store. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, here's everything we're gonna need for today's build. I have four of these dollar store artist panels, um, some hinges, this little box I'm using just to salvage this little latch, and a screwdriver. The intent is to make these panels into a DM screen and have it stand something like this. These ones on the side. Like that. And then I'll have hinges on these to close these in for folding it up. And then it hinges here, hinges here to close it up nice and tight. And then I was going to put the latch on the front here, but I'm not sure if it'll fit, but I may be able to rig something up to make it work. Okay, I have my first two panels here. Now, these are gonna be one of the sides, like this. This will open this way, so what I want to do is have it open like that. So I'm gonna close this over. I'm going to put the hinge on this side so that it doesn't interfere with how flat it lays whenever it's closed. I'll have the bump of the hinge out here. And then we'll open from there. So I'm just roughly gonna eyeball these. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them out where I want them to go, the two hinges. Then I'm going to grab a pencil or a pen and I'm just gonna make marks where I want to drill the holes and I'm going to use my drill to drill a pilot hole so the screws will go in a lot easier. I'm going to line this up Try to line up the hinge with the seam as perfectly as I can. There we go, that's one hinge. And for the other one, I'll do the same again. Down here and I'll just make my marks, my pencil. Now, I don't think you need to worry about this being absolutely perfect. The hinges can be off by a little bit and they should still open fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill my holes. Okay, now that I've got those drilled, I'm going to go ahead and start placing my hinges. Okay, I have my two sidewalls done. Now I need to connect this in the middle here. In order to do that, I'm going to need two more hinges placed here, and then that'll allow me to close this over like that and have a storable DM screen. So I'm just going to do the same as before. I'm going to lay my hinges out on the box here. Measure my holes with a pencil. And then I'm going to use my drill to draw, to make guides for the screws.
I switched screwdrivers, the other one was giving me a bit of a blister. So there we go, this closes over fine, and we have our unfoldable DM screen. One thing I like about this too is it's not very high. Um, my current DM screen, which I'll, I actually made myself as well, uh, based off a tutorial I found on YouTube, I'll throw a link in the description below. Um, it's a little bit higher than this, probably about an inch or so higher. This gives me a little more room. Um, now what I plan to do is eventually I'm going to customize the inside of this as well. I'm going to put uh, cutouts for DM screen. I may even try and throw a mini dice tower in here to roll. Maybe put a piece of plexiglass on the front um, so you can see the dice roll through. I'm not 100% certain what I will do. Also I like the idea that you can customize the front of this as well. Uh, painting pictures, use some Mod Podge, um, put some fantasy type pictures on there. Really the sky's the limit. Uh, whenever you make your own, you can customize it any way you see fit. There's our fresh new customized DM screen. Well, there we have it. We have our very own custom DM screen. Leave it up to you guys to decide what kind of artwork you want to put on the front of this or maybe you want to stain it or something like that. Leave a comment below um, about what you want to do with yours. Um, I've actually been very excited about this project for a while. It's been floating around up here. Um, very happy to see it come out and to turn out so well. This will probably be my go going forward my go-to DM screen. And I love the ability to store it away with storage for minis and dice on the inside. Well, as always, if you liked the video you saw today, please feel free to give a like and subscribe. If you want to be notified about all of our new videos when they pop up, please hit the bell notification. And if there's any thoughts that you might have uh, for crafting stuff you'd like to see me do for either for D&D or just gaming in general, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Have a good day and keep those dice a rolling.